Hello. I'm thankful to be back again with my message that I want to give to every person in the whole world. God says to go to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I've set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. He which hath begun a good work in you will perform it till the day of Jesus Christ. And herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. So I have been doing this for over 40 years, and I have prayed for a hundredfold all these years. But I'm here for all of you that don't know Christ as Savior. My burden is for every person to know how to be born again. And my website, YouTube, everybody, I have children's missionary story for children and good news program for adults. But both of them are good for each of you. And now I want you to know this Bible verse. I want to, you to copy these Bible verses. You need to know each one of them and study the Word of God. The Word of God is Psalm 12, 6. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Now that's what this, wor this word is. It's pure as silver. It is the only promise that we have because this is the real truth. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, tells us how to get right. For reproof tells us what is not right. For correction tells us how to get right and to obey the word of God because this is the only book in the world for every person that's living. This is our guidance for everything. We are to go by the word of God every decision that we make. And then for instruction in righteousness, how to keep right. You see, if you don't do these, listen to him. And all of these are ours. Everything he has, heavenly, divine, eternal promises are all ours. We are saints of light. And everything in this book, now see this, these right here, all of these, all through this book, I've got these down and I read them and I live them because God's word drills in us. And that's how you know that he is doing everything. A man can receive nothing except it be given to him from heaven. So these verses are all yours. Every promise in this book is ours, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So this is one of the most powerful weapons that we have. And we must, if we hate someone, we are a murderer. The Bible plainly teaches us that. He says, I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, and do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. You see, that's how we live, is obey the word of God. I am 86 years old, and I'm going to give you something that you've never heard before. I have never had an alcoholic drink, never smoked. My body is a perfect body. I don't ever take any medicine, am never sick, and don't have any pain. And the eye doctor, when my daughter took me to the eye doctor to get it, it, it worked now, and that I don't even have to wear glasses anymore, they said I should be a, pre, a they said I should be a picture person in my life at 80 some years old to have a perfect 
body, soul, and spirit. And the, spur the things that I do, I have lived what he has given me. You cannot worry. Worry causes 38 diseases. You cannot be depressed, and you cannot fear. So his word, Psalm, Proverbs 2130, there is no wisdom nor understanding nor counsel against the Lord. So to be a picture person, you have to let him do it, not us. And then he says, 2 Corinthians 13, 8, for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. I have lived by faith in everything that I have done, and I have given out the Word of God every week for f over 40 years. And this is a most amazing story in the world. S Proverbs 35, every word of God is pure. Add thou not unto his words, lest he repute, reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. He says, in the last chapter, 22, if you add or take away from the Word of God, instead of using it like it is, he says this is what the, he's going to put all of the plagues on this book on you. And then he says this is the most amazing story because when you know what he's doing, he says in Exodus 20, verse 3, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Deuteronomy 6, 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Isaiah 44, 6. I am the first and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. Matthew 4, 10. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Psalm 29, 4. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is is full of majesty. And as you get this book, these books, all of this, all wisdom is ours, all power is ours, all truth is ours, all mercy, all grace, all majesty, all righteousness, all faith, all peace, holy, omniscient. That means all knowing. He knows everything. He knows our heart. And this is all that you can see in this book, every word is yours. All, he says, you have not because you ask not. Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. So here, omnipotent is all powerful. And then you go all through this book, and every one of these have the lessons that you need to know and the word of God for every day. This means more than eating your food. This is why the time is right for everybody to obey the Word of God and begin to study because right now the, big, the greatest need is for people to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior. And he, we have, in Christ we have redemption. His blood is pure blood. That's the only person that could ever give us his blood is in us, and it's pure blood. And that's why by his own blood, Christ entered in once into the holy place. And this is what we are to do. We are to get this book out and study just one New Testament, John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you can keep from being confused and not start in the Old Testament, but the best one to read. I want everybody, when I taught junior church, my children, they read John, and there's only 21 chapters, and I told them to see how many times it said believe in the book of John. I want every person that's listening to read the book of John, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, and you will grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But you have to be born again. 
by the Spirit of God. You see, this is a thing that gets everybody confused because if you don't know the Word of God and know Christ as Savior, then you don't know anything because we have to have the Spirit that teaches us. You see, until we have the Spirit of God, we have a body and a soul. And then we never will get to heaven without the, being born again by the Spirit. God the Father, God the Father, God the Son, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit, three and one, one and three. He is our leader in knowing the Word of God. You have to know the Spirit of God. And then as you get into this book in chapter 13, the things that he gives to us is, I'm going to read this to you first, and then I'm going to pray. Revelation 13, verse 15, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast, they kill you. And this is what is so sad. You have to be born again so you can go to heaven. And there is a place called heaven and there is a place called hell. And this is what hell is, the blackness of darkness forever and fire and brimstone. We are in heaven in rapture, rap, Revelation 4 and we have perfect, all the mansions is all pure and silver and gold. And this is the difference and nobody can change what you do because you are the only one that can make that decision. And you can't live the way the world is living because that is everything is against the Word of God. We are to obey what His Word says. Let's pray. Oh, our gracious and dear Heavenly Father, we come to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and to find grace to help in time of need. I thank Thee and praise Thee that Thy Word teaches us that we are to walk worthy of Thee unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of Thee. Strengthen with all might according to His glory. We are he has set before us an open door, and no man can shut it. He which hath begun a good work in you will perform it till the day of Jesus Christ. And suffer the little children to come unto thee, and forbid them not, for such is the kingdom of God. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit. So we are asking for every person to get into the Word of God and see what has to be done so every person that I'm praying for is to be brought out of darkness into light, out of the power of Satan unto thee. And giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet to be partaker of his divine inheritance as saints of light. And we are saints of light. And he loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. That's the reason I'm here is for every person all over this universe. And God is, has given us His Son, Jesus Christ, is God's love gift to the whole world. And that's why I'm here. I love each and every person in the world. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. And I want that to happen before I go to heaven. Thank Thee for hearing and answering our prayers today. In Christ's name we pray, amen. So I know you know already that He's up in heaven and He's going to be saying, come up hither, and we're going to be raptured into heaven with the uh, body. We're going to get a body of light. We already have a spirit and soul is already there. But if He should come today, we would be raptured into heaven and we would get a body of light. And that's what I've been praying for all of you. So this is, now we're coming to chapter 13 of the book of Revelation. This is the awful, most horrible time in the world, the seven-year tribulation period. And they're killing each other. 
they only kill those that do not worship the beast that is their 666 number and the beast are just men and this is a rec we got to see what he says and in second thessalonians chapter 2 now these are the things that you must understand it's already in here what he's going to do because it's time for this to happen and it could happen at any time so in second thessalonians 2 verse 7 he says for the mystery of iniquity. He's already got these written down here, what he's going to do, that he's going to come. And he's the Antichrist and the Satan is going to do it all. And then we're in heaven and we're in, where there's no sin and no more sorrow and no more pain and no more tears. He says in verse 7, now this is what he's warning us for the mystery of iniquity doth already work only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way and then shall that wicked be revealed when the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of satan is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. They are lying today and you can't tell the difference. This is what you have to know. And with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. So when we come to chapter 13, chapter in Revelation 13, and I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw the beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. Verse 2, Revelation, you have to read all of these and learn them because they are happening right now. And the beast, chapter 2, and the beast which I saw was like a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. And then chapter 3, when we come to these, this is all line wonders. All of these. And then where the Antichrist, the name of the Antichrist is the same as Satan. And they are in this book, the beast out of the sea, the beast out of the earth. And Satan controls all of these people. All the animals that are there, they are not animals, they are people. And the trinity of evil, the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet is Satan's imitation of divine trinity. And then in 1 John, now you have to listen to this because this is the saddest thing in the world for people that don't know Christ. 1 John 2.18, now listen at this. 1 John 2, 18, little children, it is the last time. And as you have heard that Antichrist shall come. This is whereby we know that it is the last time. You see, the only place that the Antichrist name is written is in 1 John. And then verse 22, who is a liar. These people are liars. And if you tell lies, you're obeying Satan. And he says, who is a liar, but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ, this he is antichrist, that denieth the Father and the Son. And then he also gives to us, and I have to give to you, in chapter 3 of 1 John, verse 15, whoso hateth his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. And it says if you hate anyone. This is why we need to learn these. And then the other one is verse 4 and 3 where the Antichrist is. And this is what's happening. They're here today. He says, And every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. 
And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already it is in the world. You see, this is why I'm giving these out, because people don't read the Word of God, and they can tell you anything and add to it or take it away, and it's not the same. So this is my burden is to give these to you. And then it says, the beast of all the earth, the man of sin, now listen to this, the world's great conqueror has been death. After death, it's too late. You, the book of Revelation shows us this world under the dominion of all the enemies of God and death, Satan, sin, and the grave and hell. This is what you have to know that you are not going to be here. And then the pale horse in Revelation 6, 8, listen what that says. It is all here what is happening, and it is going to come at any time. Verse 8, now listen to this. This is the first beginning of the beast, and listen at this. And it says in Revelation 6, 8, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him, and power was given unto him over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the earth. You see, if we could just give this to every child, every person, that's why I'm here, because nothing else works. And then Revelation chapter 13, 1 through 3. I can't go through all of that today, but I want you to understand what this means in Revelation 13, 4. And they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And then chapter 13, verse 12, and he ex exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. If you don't take the number 666 and put it on your forehead, and they kill you. And this is the saddest thing in the world. And then verse 15, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image, the beast should be killed. This is something that every person should understand. And Revelation 16, verse 13, listen at this one. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophets. The Trinity, that's all they know. There's nothing else. And then we see in Revelation 19, 20, these are the most important things because they are happening right now. And that's why I have to give these to you. Revelation 19, verse 20. Now, this is what happens to people when they get into the satanic powers and all of the evil things. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles, before him with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped this image, that both were cast. Now listen to this is what's going to happen to them. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire and brimstone. This is right here, burning with brimstone. Now this is something, and then chapter 20 Verse 10, and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. That's where he's going. God didn't make hell for people. He made that for the devil. When the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever. And this is why I'm here, because this is something that people don't understand what is happening. And this is the most saddest thing for me in the world, because that's all I've ever known. 
So he says in Revelation chapter 13, once again, 7 and 8, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindred and tongues and nations. And that all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the Lamb, the life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear to hear, let him hear. We are to listen to these wonderful things at Isaiah 14. Now these are right here, and there's no excuse for people not to understand them and know them because this is showing us what is, is going to happen. It's already happening where we are. So we have to obey the word. Revelation, Isaiah 14, verse 12 and 14. Listen to this. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didn't weaken the nation? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the throne of the above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the height of the clouds, and I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. This is so important that uh, that's the only reason I'm here. God loves you and I love you, and this is the saddest things that could be happening today. And I want to do everything I can that will help you to understand that this is not for people. These are all lies and the wonders of the second beast, 1313. This is just everything is something that people have never read and never heard. That is what breaks my heart. And I've read the Bible through so many times. I love it and I enjoy it. But now my heart is aching for all of you that may have to go through this if you don't know Christ as Savior. Revelation 13, 13, listen at this. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. That's how powerful these things are. And then Revel we've got so many things and all of these 13, 18, listen to this. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. Number six, six, six. And now we think about what this world has to offer death and hell. That's all. The mark of the beast is controlled by the beast and the world dictatorship. All will worship the beast or die. This is something that I love all of you and I'm praying you will get your Bible out and read the Word of God and I want every person that's listening, you can get my videos on YouTube and copy them and give them to everybody. My heart is that burdened for every soul. God did not make hell for people. And I am thankful that he has still let me live till 86 years old and have the greatest blessings in the whole world. I want everybody to live and obey the word of God the way he has taught me. In Christ's name, amen.